The regime of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya ended four years ago. It is now a divided country with two rival governments, its people struggling to rebuild their lives. Our World Affairs editor John Simpson sent this from the capital, Tripoli. Four years after the fall of Colonel Gaddafi, this country's hopes for the future are being wrecked. Some people here now even say they wish Gaddafi was back. At first sight, things look reasonable enough. Then you start to see the damage. Just about all embassies closed. Every international hotel shut down. The airport's been destroyed. Scarcely any foreigners come here nowadays. A few months ago, this big new shopping center was attacked because Islamic extremists said men and women were using it to meet each other. And there are other forms of damage. At the biggest hospital in Tripoli, they're sending this man away because they can't treat his serious heart condition. He's having to pay the ambulance a thousand pounds to drive him to neighboring Tunisia, where the operation will cost a fortune. Three years ago, there were 1,500 nurses here, mostly from abroad. Now there are only 250 of them, not usually very highly trained. We found Ali Aoun looking after his 10-month-old son, Adam. Adam desperately needs a bone marrow transplant, but the hospital simply can't carry it out. It all comes down to politics here. The different parties can't agree, there are two opposing governments, nothing gets done, including little Adam's operation. We're suffering, we don't have medicine. Please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm begging the people in the, in the top of the heart, in the, the pyramid, please, you have to sit together, you forget what we have. We have to go forward, otherwise we're going to lose our country, we're going to lose our children. Yes. In a cafe here, I met a group of students, two of whom had come home after university in Britain. I am in shock, but uh, there's no other way. You either take it and turn it to the good of the people, good of the country, or you have, you will, your country will collapse. It's in the edge of collapsing. We have to uh, be optimistic about uh, the future of our country, because if not we, then who? The power vacuum is a useful opportunity for Islamic State, so-called. In January, it blew up a big Tripoli hotel. When I met the Prime Minister of the Tripoli government, I asked him if he'd take up Britain's offer of help in dealing with IS. We don't reject any offers of help to kill this disease because this disease will infect the international community and we won't let the terrorists have any stronghold in Libya. Europe begins only about 200 miles from here. It's too close for comfort. John Simpson, BBC News, Tripoli.